Baby boy is seven months old now and is always in nursing but has no interest in purees. So it's time for that homemade baby food that is healthy, delicious, and baby approved. And as you can see, he's a fan. So let's go ahead and get this grocery haul started so that we can get into making some baby food. First things first, let's go ahead and unload all of these groceries that I just picked up at Walmart for the baby haul, and then we can get into what I got and why I got it. I'm super excited to share with you guys. Okay, so it is the day that I've been putting off for a while. So my seven month old baby, he's recently seven month old, um, he is just like really interested in food, but no interest in purees, which is where I usually start just because it's a lot easier, it's what I know, and usually my babies are really into it. He just happens to not be. So we are going to be making some baby food. I have plans to make some baby muffins, which when I say baby, it's also gonna be toddler because my toddlers, there's no way I'm gonna make like little baby muffins or oatmeal, like baked oatmeal cups or things like that and them not want it. Um, so I'm gonna make a ton of them so like all my kids can have it, but I wanna make it specifically for uh, Malachi, my baby, to have like smaller bits. Um, I also bought a bunch of stuff, and that's what you've seen me unload, so that I can make some, like, steamed veggies to have on hand. I got some diced meats that I can do, like, some egg cups, um, and then just some, like, little things. So let's go over what I got, and I'll show you that first, and then, like, my plans of what I'm going to be making, and then we'll go ahead and start making some of this baby food, okay? Okay, first up, of course, we need bibs. Um, I really like these bibs. They're just, like, a towel you put over their head. Uh, they didn't have really any more of those except for the plastic and the plastic just doesn't do so good at that a at this age um so i got these ones and it has the plastic back so it won't keep from soaking and they're like they're the bigger ones so that should be good and then i got this oops uh, I got this super cute little plate to go on his high chair. Um, it's a little silicone sticky thing. It'll suction to the table, and that way it's easier for him to like use his pincher grasp and get the food um, and it not run away from him. And then, of course, I had to get some outfits, you guys. He's growing out of his clothes, so he's like nine months, but um, I just got 12 months because my babies usually grow pretty quickly. So I just got a couple pairs of pants. Look at how cute. My dream is to have a VW bus one day, so I thought that was super cute. And then a roarable, which I'm sure his brother is going to be really into since it's a dinosaur. And then because he looks just like his dad, look at how cute that is. I really like the granimals because they're very affordable. Um, there's some cute ones, again, with the VW bus, right? And we came from San Diego, so I thought that was super cute. And the little trailer, we used to live in an RV full-time. And then just these really cute ones. These are kind of like a knockoff of the Kite Baby, if you know what that is. They're super stretchy and, like, soft. So I got him that. Okay, so now that the food item or the non-food items are done, let's go ahead and get the food. So I went ahead and got this vegetable medley. I'll steam this up and then give them a few bits at a time. I went and got a couple of zucchinis, a red bell pepper, and some nectarines, and then raspberries, bananas, some basil, because just because they're babies doesn't mean they have to have bland food. And then apples. Um, I have a few plans for that. I went ahead and grabbed these like little options for veggie straws they didn't have like a big bag of it so i kind of like the idea of just having a smaller bag to do a little bit at a time um and they have the zesty ranch with the other kids will have i'll give those to my other kids this one is just going to be for the baby and then i got cheerios for everybody um but just to have those to like little pinch of grass practice um and then some teether crackers i really like the happy baby brand and earth best strawberry like cereal bars um i'll probably just like cut them up in bits or break them up in bits for him um but i thought that was a good little soft option and then because i do not have a freeze dryer or ability to make these i went ahead and bought them um and then some diced ham that i'll put inside the breakfast um what sorry egg cups i'm gonna put these in there and then i'll probably just let him have some um with certain meals i got cream cheese uh, i got whipped so it's easier to spread on like toast um for like a breakfast option and then i got the two different yo baby yogurts 
And then move that to the side. Oh, I forgot those. I got some sippy cups with a handle to make it easier and a soft spout. And last but not least, I got these applesauce pouches um, for when he feels like maybe he wants to try. The other kids really like this, my toddlers especially, so I just thought I would grab them. And if he wanted to have someone try it, then he could. So that's what we got. And now let's go ahead and get these things cleaned up, tied, cut up, and... Okay, I know the Instapot is one of those things you either love it or hate it, but I absolutely love my Instapot. I actually have two because I have my eight quart one that I bought like, I don't know, six years ago. And then I have one that somebody gifted me that was six quarts, a family member who just didn't like it. And I'm telling you, this makes baby food so much easier. You can just steam it up, um, different levels of it. This is usually how I make my purees, but today we're not doing purees. So I'm going to go ahead and peel these apples um, really quickly and then dice them up so that I can steam them. And I'm going to be using them alongside the zucchini and mixing that up. So we're getting different vitamins and minerals um, for baby and the uh, sweetness of the apple will give the zucchini flavor because I feel like the zucchini doesn't really have a ton of flavor um, and I just I have noticed babies really like or my babies I should say really like the apple zucchini combo another one you could do is pears also it's another good soft option that you can mix it'll give it a little sweet flavor but you're also still getting those nutrients from the vegetables in there and not just fruit okay, on to preparing these zucchinis have you guys seen i never have peeled a vegetable this way um but you know TikTok and all of its great fun finds sat there and taught me hey you can actually peel a vegetable just going up and down with the peeler without actually lifting it up and I've been doing that it's been making it so much easier and then I just go ahead and peel the bottoms normally I'm just dicing these up bell peppers are a great way to also add in some sweetness to your foods plus it's really rich in vitamin C and a bunch of other nutrients that are really good for us not just baby like everybody should be having bell peppers I highly suggest it and it's a great way that it doesn't add a ton of flavor to things that you can go ahead and sneak them into all kinds of things I really like to add bell peppers to my my, like morning breakfast cups um, and so not only am I going to be steaming it and mixing it with some sweet potatoes but I'm also going to be putting it into these breakfast cups that I'm making for him these egg bites are kale red pepper and cheese with a diced ham in there this is a super easy way to cook eggs I really like the way they come out and like I said I have two instant pots and both of them are going this one is the apple and zucchini with a little bit of cinnamon because like I said baby food doesn't have to be bland these are the bites done on to the blueberry mini muffins I'm just using a regular basic muffin recipe and adding blueberries into it and then later on I will make the banana peanut butter muffins my word to the wise because I messed this up was do not add oil and peanut butter this one was okay because it wasn't a peanut butter that had extra oils in it but I definitely didn't follow the recipe as I was supposed to I was kind of just going rogue thinking I knew what I was doing and they didn't come out as fluffy and light as I would have hoped. They were a little bit more dense. Um, so just word to the wise, be better than me. Don't do what I did. I know that wild blueberries are a little bit more expensive than regular blueberries, but in my opinion, it's worth it. I think that they have a better flavor and plus mini wild blueberries for mini muffins. As you see, my kids are very interested in what I'm doing. They love themselves some muffins. And so, like I said, specifically, I'm making this for the baby, these mini muffins, but I know that it's not, they're not going to last. Like these kids are just ravenous for some muffins and so I'm making sure that I'm making extra for them I am a mama seven and so a batch of muffins goes pretty quickly in this house I'm not really lasting more than maybe a couple hours before they're gone and that's okay that's what we're making it for so I went ahead and set some aside for the baby in an, a separate Tupperware that I'll show you guys at the end um, and everything else that I made but I also made sure that I had extra for the kids. These are the peanut butter banana muffins. Like I said, they weren't as fluffy, but they were delicious. He loved them. So I gave him an egg bite and some muffin, um, that peanut butter banana muffin, and he loved it. And his first time drinking out of a sippy. So I had to help him out. 
He really liked it. He was mostly just chewing on it because we have teeth and we want to use them now. And so that's how that went. First we have the sweet potatoes and red peppers. I forgot that I had the sweet potatoes so I went ahead and threw that in there. And then I have the vegetable medley, which is the steamed veggies, um, broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. And then zucchini and apple to kind of make it sweet and yummy. And then the egg bites, which didn't totally come out of that silicone thing, so next time we'll definitely spray it. And then I have the 12, I think I put a little extra because I knew the toddlers were going to want some, so I didn't save them all for him, but I did, I have... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of the small, oops, small muffins for him. And he is currently enjoying those veggie straws very much that I got um, in the haul. So that's exciting. Um, and now I have foods that are super easy and prepped for him to go. So if he's hungry, um, we can just grab something from the pile here in the fridge. Or um, we have those snacks that we have on hand now too. And then that way I'm not just breastfeeding him. And he's not just like hungry all the time. So I'm going to call this a success. I'm super happy with everything that and the way it turned out. I made sure that it wasn't steamed too much, um, that it was a little bit sturdy to hold, but the sweet potato was kind of mushy. So I think I left it in there too long while it was venting because I got distracted by muffins. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope that this was helpful. I hope this was helpful and it gave you some guys. I, I cannot speak. I hope this was helpful. I hope that it inspired you guys, gave you some ideas, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!